The Canadian government says that it hopes to manufacture a vaccine right here in Canada. That vaccine, which will be produced by Novavax, is still at the stage of requiring approval. That approval could come soon, though, and the vaccine could be in production here before the end of the year. Stanley Irk is president and CEO of Novavax. Stanley, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. So I want to start with a little bit about your vaccine. Uh, you've been at this a long time uh, in the sense that you've had success with other vaccines against MERS and SARS. Uh, so you're no stranger to this universe. Wh what stands between you and approval for a vaccine uh, everywhere in the U.S. and in Canada and elsewhere? Well, I can say not a lot now. We, we had a big week last week. We, uh, we were uh, conducting two, three efficacy trials, actually, two of which we, un, what's called unblinding, that we were able to look at the results and see how we were doing. And we did it in, in uh, two very interesting countries, in the UK and South Africa. And the reason they were interesting countries is, is that both those countries had very high rates of infection. And we conducted the trial when these new variants were starting in, in both countries. And so we were able to determine how our vaccine works not only against the what we call the original wild type strain, but also against the the UK variant and the South African variant. So we're the we're now the only company mm -hmm. with data that shows how and it works. It works exactly how you would hope, in against the UK uh, uh, original strain, uh, the parent strain that matched our vaccine. We got 96 percent efficacy, which is a very high rate of efficacy, and and when you dropped to the um, variant strain in the UK, which about 50% of the subjects were, were infected with, we got an 86% infection, still a very high rate. And then when you drop to the what they call the triple variant down in South Africa, we showed that we still got good efficacy levels, but it was at 60%. So it does show that there's an impact of, of the, the variation in strains and, and uh, leads us to, to think about uh, having next generation vaccines as well. But vaccine worked very well. Now, you asked me what the, what's between us and Lysinger. We're putting together all the data mm -hmm. from these trials and all the data from our manufacturing runs. And uh, we have now actually started the process of filing for approval, both in uh, the UK and uh, in EMA and Europe and in Canada. So, I mean, obviously there has been a race here and we know uh, those early out of the gate uh, will see big sales. Uh, you're, when I look at, uh, Novavax has been around a long time. You've seen your sales building. You're still operating at a loss. Is this the year and is this the vaccine that turns that into a profit? Yeah, I think unquestionably this is, this is, um, we, you know, this is not just a one vaccine uh, company world uh, in a pandemic. We we all need each other uh, to to succeed in this pandemic. So there's there's a lot of demand out there, and I think we're all scrambling to make as much product as we can. So, you know, obviously for Canada, our, the government is still suggesting that the pop, everybody who wants a vaccine will be vaccinated by September. I think reasonable expectations of manufacturing your vaccine here are after that. It would be December. What's the product you think you'll offer to the Canadian market that will be viable and, uh, and have a market if everybody's received sort of some form of a first dose? Sure. And, and so uh, we, we set up, so we're a biotech company down in the U.S., and uh, one year ago today, we had zero manufacturing capability. We've done a, I think, a uh, heroic job of setting up eight manufacturing, commercial scale manufacturing facilities uh, in seven different countries around the globe. So the product that we, we, we will have product to supply to Canada. I'm not sure which facility it will come to, but, but we, we have product that will, that will go into Canada. What we're thinking about and, and talking about with the Canadian government is a, is a, is a longer term proposition, which is to uh, set up shop uh, in Canada so that you have in-country production. And it could be, uh, an initial scale could be production for Canada, but it also could be uh, on large scale production that could supply the world. We're very excited about uh, uh, potentially doing that. 
And obviously, uh, there we see the importance, uh, or the perceived importance, let me put it that way, of, of domestic production of this kind of product. Uh, what's different for you about licensing manufacturing to somebody else in another country versus manufacturing yourself and shipping it? Is it, is it a different model, or is it uh, just as good for you to have domestic production happen around the world? I think it's just as good for us to have domestic production around the world. I think that we we would like to be in a position where the world is open. There are no borders for vaccines, uh, closing borders. And uh, as long as we have good good labor forces to supply and good distribution channels, I think it's I think it's uh, a great place to be. We Canada is perceived to be behind the eight ball on vaccine delivery uh, from where you sit. Uh, which countries are getting it right? Are there vaccine strategies you've seen that seem to make the most sense or have worked the best? Hmm. Well, that's probably a bigger uh, question for for a, a larger organization than my biotech company. My job is to is to discover and make at large scale and get approved a vaccine and and uh, ship it to these countries. But from my experience, I can tell you, I think Canada's doing it right. I mean, they're going to be one of the first countries to get a vaccine from us, and we think we have uh, a great vaccine. And, and uh, so I think Canada's doing it right. And I should ask you, I mean, one of the longer term suggestions I've seen for uh, for a vaccine like yours would be a combination uh, COVID plus uh, annual flu shot vaccine. Would you expect to see uh, when manufacturing exists in Canada that there will be new products there year after year? Well, that could be. And there, and there are really two, two kinds of combination vaccines. There's actually... It looks like from the data that's that's emerging right now and with the variants, we may have a, a uh, combination COVID vaccine, just like we have a flu vaccine. It's, the flu vaccine started out with a, a dose of one strain and then over the decades, we now, flu, flu vaccines now have four different strains in it to try to capture all of the mm -hmm. diverse variant strains and COVID may turn into the same thing. And, and then so you could have either uh, multigenic, uh, multivalent COVID vaccines and flu vaccines, plus flu and, and COVID. I, I think all those are possible. It is great to have you with us today, sir. Uh, important news for Canada and also, I imagine, for Novavax. We appreciate your time today. It is. Thank you. Stanley Irk is the president and CEO of Novavax.